Good Sunday morning. How are you this morning? Oh, great. I figured you were. Hi, we're Don and Steph. <laughs> It's time for our Church of the Week where we get to connect with churches in our area and get to know them a little bit better. This week's Church of the Week is St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana with Father Sammy Maletta. All right, Father Sammy, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your church. My name is Sammy Maletta. This is St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church. I think we might be your first Catholic Church of the Week. We're located in St. John, Indiana, adjacent to the Shrine of Christ Passion. It's a community of about uh, 1,500 families, about 4,000 people total. And we're trying to do things a little bit different than your typical Catholic church. All right, fantastic. Tell us something that you really love about your church. Uh, the people, of course, the people. It's a, a variety. It's, we have a lot of young families, but it. It's all over the place, really, in terms of ages and categories. Good place to be. People travel here. We call this a seeker's parish because they'll travel from, we have one parishioner that lives outside of O'Hare Airport that comes in every week. And people from Valparaiso, and of course, a lot of people from the Illinois side of Crete and some from uh, Frankfurt. So people just come, they, they want to be here. So I figure, sure, the doors are open. That's Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. Keep listening this morning for more of our conversation with Father Sammy, or you can get more info about our Church of the Week on our website, which is just like our name, shine.fm. And it's time for our Church of the Week again, where we get to connect with churches in our area and get to know just a little bit more about them. This week's Church of the Week is St. John Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana with Father Sammy Maletta. All right, Father Sammy, tell us, um, what is something that's different about your church? I think enthusiasm. I think faith level. I think we experience people saying to us, unsolicited, and almost every week, I felt the Holy Spirit here. We had a situation where somebody asked if they could see me because her sister's marriage was falling apart. And they asked if, if I would meet with her. And so the issue was is she, they were... Catholic, but he was looking for more and found himself in an evangelical church and brought his children along. And she just couldn't bring, couldn't make that transition. So they didn't live in this area. But I said, well, why don't you come? Why don't you see if you'll come? And so he did and cried all through the first service and came back the next week and cried next week. Now he's one of her key people here. But what he said to me, he doesn't call me father, he calls me pastor. As a pastor, the Holy Spirit's here. I felt the Holy Spirit here. So yeah, I think that's what uh, what happens. Wow, that's amazing. Say, uh, Tell us a little bit about the mission of your church. Our mission is very simple, to be disciples and make disciples. We have a process that we try to filter people through. We use the Alpha program as a tool to get people into the church and ask those big questions. And then we are actively trying to create small groups and a curriculum to go with that. And then finally, to shepherd those folks into service because you can feel good about God, you can feel good about yourself, but until you're out helping the poor, it really doesn't make sense. That's Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. Keep listening this morning for more of our conversation with Father Sammy, or you can get more info about our Church of the Week on our website, which is just like our name, shine.fm. <laughs> to continue our conversation with Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Church in St. John, Indiana. All right, Father Sammy, share with us a little bit. What are some outreach opportunities that you guys do at your church? Well, we have we've tried to take what would be classic Catholic things and turn them on their ear. So festival. To have a summer festival, we have a booth for evangelization. We have Oktoberfests, and there's a booth for evangelization. We have an evening called Spring Fling, and that really captures a lot of people in the community who are not involved with the parish to do uh, that. We also, we networked last year with a local Protestant church to feed, uh, I think, 900, 900 people at Thanksgiving time. So we want to continue doing that. We have a very close relationship with Faith Church in Dyer, and so we kind of like share ideas back and forth and a couple of ministries that they have. We try to do it our, you know, so, 
and they've taken some of our stuff as well. So, which makes always makes me feel good that when as Christians we put, I think, too much emphasis on what separates us, and we should be focusing on what collects us, and that's Jesus Christ. And it's that simple. If we just stayed with that, and so we're always looking for partners to collaborate with to do things that show that Christian unity. All right, well, share with us a little bit. What are some of the in-reach opportunities for the people of your church? Yeah, well, certainly we try to, before they ever get to the body of the church, have two or three people greet them and tell them you're welcome. We then, you know, if they're interested in doing more, then we would encourage them to do Alpha. Alpha is a starting point for us. And then after that, there are so many different ministries. At at one point, we counted them as over 100 different ministries we're trying to shrink that back a little bit and stay focused. So we're trying to steer people into selective areas that will really enhance their spirituality, help them grow in Christ. And not all our activities do that. Some of them are more social. There are different things that we do. We, we just met last night. We're going to do a program called This Man Is You, which is a really a very successful program for men and collector men. We, for the last 10 years, we've had a strong emphasis on ministry to men because really they're the backbone. And that's another thing when you come here. And again, I can only compare this to what you might see in another Catholic church. You're not going to see so many men. You're going to see a lot of women. You're going to see a lot of gray-haired people. But to see young fathers with their children is really edifying. That's Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. Keep listening this morning for more of our conversation with Father Sammy, or you can get more info about our Church of the Week on our website, which is just like our name, shine.fm. Big Daddy Weave with the Lion and the Lamb on Shine, worship with Don and Steph. And it's time to continue our conversation with Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. All right, Father Sammy, tell us a little bit, what does Shine.fm or contemporary Christian music as a whole uh, mean to you and or your church? Contemporary Christian music just stirs something. There are studies that we've looked at that show that churches who use contemporary Christian music tend to attract more people. Now, not everybody likes that. They would like the, you know, some of the traditional stuff. For me personally, it's a mainstay. It's about the only kind of music I listen to. And I depend on Shine to get the new music because I don't know where to find it. So I hear a song on the radio and I, and I have to go back to the webpage and try to figure out what was played so I know what the name of the song is. I could go to Apple and then I could download it. So yeah, and I find that the people in the parish, so many people listen to this. First thing in the morning, they're driving the kids to the school or they're going to work. And they're talking about the music. And so as an assembly, we try the best we and we're not we don't have like professional level formers, but we are good musicians. And so we do our best uh, to play contemporary Christian music and people get into it. You know, a lot of hand clapping and, and stuff like that, which we encourage. That's Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. Keep listening this morning for more of our conversation with Father Sammy, or you can get more info about our Church of the Week on our website, which is just like our name, shine.fm. Shine worship with Don and Steph. And now we get to wrap up our conversation with Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. All right, Father Sammy, you have shared so much about your church this morning. Is there anything else you would like to share? Again, we do our food distribution. So we serve meals both prepared so people don't have the ability to even cook for themselves. So if we do that. We also provide like baskets so that if you can cook for yourself, all the raw ingredients you need to have a good Thanksgiving meal. We do like a big thing here is the angel tree. Uh, people are real supportive of that. In the fall, we also have one of our two what we call grocery bag collections. So people... One one Sunday when they come to church, they're given grocery bags, empty grocery bags. And next Sunday, they bring them back full. We collect tons, I mean, truckloads of food for the poor. So there's various food banks and soup kitchens that we work out. Our big thing is our mission trip. We've kind of adopted an orphanage in the Dominican Republic. And so every year, about 25 people go down. And it's become more a lot of uh, families want to go do that. They go down and sometimes we build things. Uh, we have a group now that's planning in February a missionary trip to Belize. So they plan to, first of all, we'll be collecting money to buy shoes 
or the children, something like 25% of the children there don't have shoes. And then they're going to go door to door and proclaim Jesus Christ. So got to be excited about that. That's Father Sammy Maletta from St. John the Evangelist Parish in St. John, Indiana. For more info about this week's Church of the Week or any of our previous Churches of the Week, visit our website, which is just like our name, shine.fm. 